What's up, YouTubers? Got the meats. Not really. We need the front runners. So just to uh, check back on how everything's going, tying in the original OBD2 to this OBD2, uh, the power wire does not get merged. So really, you're going to merge these three up top and then this one, not this one. This one's power, it'll drain your battery and it'll kill it. And it'll take a while. It took me while I was gone Sunday, Monday morning, came back Friday, and it was completely dead. No door chime, nothing. And I couldn't get anything to work. So, uh, excuse the uh, lionscapers. Um, yeah, don't don't plug that in. It uh, on this truck, it happens to be this light blue with the white stripe. Do Mm, don't plug it in. Uh, in case you guys are wondering how I mounted the pedal, um, it, I had to do some trimming. Cut it out. Can't really see in there. Boy. Trimmed it out and then I had to cut all most of this side off. And then that's barely hanging on. The, the one on top is good and that one's good. That one you gotta trim it and then you gotta trim some some of the tops of the bolt sits in there but other than that everything is good this is the uh, old OBD2 so you see it's got all the same pins I mean it's got a little extra a couple extra ones I guess it's for like ABS and all that stuff but control pack doesn't like that so that's what's happening um, I got the lights shut off uh, um, I have to explain how I did that. Magic of uh, black electrical tape. So you take the clear lens off. You peel back the black. You take off the needles. You peel back the this background, and you put some clear tape behind the lights. That you're you're not really needing and no lights. Done so. system I ditched the uh, GM filter regulator and I ran the lines on the outside of the of the frame because I've got this exhaust pipe and uh, I didn't want any of the uh, it's trying to mitigate all possible reasons that I could be lacking fuel um, it ended up being a bursted bursted supply line Which is right over here. Right here. So, I was only getting 25 psi. It was running, I mean, decent. It's just it was really, really lean. And uh, I don't know why that kinked. Why that kinked up. I guess it was when that bursted, it pushed it up or something. But. The new fuel system is the same 525 liter per hour um, fuel pump. I had bought this one because I thought it was a fuel pump to Walboro. I'm not really fond of a Walboro fuel pump, so I bought a Dietchworks 300. Um, I might just keep this just in case. Um, I've used a bunch. This is what I was using. Filter, regulator. This off a of Corvette or Camaro. I don't I don't really know. So this is your supply. Inlet. Return. And this goes to the fuel rail. So this is just an adapter. Uh, push in. 
fuel line lock release goes in there and it comes out and then it goes to 6 a.m. and then here I had them one of them push um, pushing deals <clears throat> just this little sucker so this this is nice because you can just push her in and she locks well oh, she might be all right so it goes on this one I lied to you guys center is return this one's a uh, feed and let there it is return in and this is out so this is my second one I thought the filter might have been clogged or something so I built the whole sending unit again took this out this was like the breather the vent but I took it off so it could vent properly I bought a external vent that's mounted to the top of the hat fuel hat and from summit it was like nine dollars so that that'll let it air out and in but no fuel comes out I don't know how it works um, the fuel sender I removed this didn't need it put the fuel pump sock on sock filter whatever and uh, that worked I used 3.8 I think it's 3.8 I don't know what this is but it's a bigger fuel line yeah 3.8 for the supply it's it's very very close to being 6 a.m. same measurement as far as millimeters um, took this out I had this installed but you see the this is the supply this is a check valve and then it goes up into the top of the hat and then out and then it had this drain back so what I did I took this off and ran straight up hose from the fuel pump out the top of the hat and uh, one of those push one of those up uh, one of these on top of the hat bam with a 45 AN fitting to a hose and then ran that to the fuel regulator and then the return back back out and I drilled a hole and I used a bulkhead fitting one of these so this loosens up oh it's supposed to loosen up right here you break this down you drill a hole that's as big as the diameter of this and which mine ended up being bigger than whatever this size is even, uh, half inch it's bigger than half inch so I don't know five eighths five eighths hole cut a five eighths and you should be fine this will go in and then you use these gaskets, squeeze it on the fuel hat. Fuel hat sits between these two gaskets. And then it's 6 a.m. to a barbed hose fitting. That's 3 8 So this is the return basically inside the fuel hat. This is mounted on the fuel hat. 6 return, 6 a.m. returns here from the regulator. Dumps out right next to the pump on top of the, uh, top of the uh, fuel pump filter that's in tank. And then this one's a supply so obviously you need a bigger supply than you do a return and then I think that's it yeah but um, that bursted hose that's what came I bought it I bought the 525 liter per hour fuel pump supposedly the Hellcat fuel pump uh, from on three performance for a hundred bucks I mean it is doing its job I thought it was a pump at first because you know, it's just a Walboro 525 from On3 Performance. So I bought the Deech Works, but ended up finding the the supply hose being bursted. So I was like, well, that's the problem. So changed it out, reconfigured everything in the hat. Got the vent, put a vent in, and was two vents. One for that goes to the filler neck, and then that vent that sits on top of the fuel hat. And let me see if I can get you close in there. All right, so under here, this is the return line. Happened to be a clip right here that I could use. Um, this is the filler neck vent that goes up to the filler neck. And then, don't mind that, I need to tape that back up. That's the feed. See how it has that snapping um, adapter 
So it goes to three, uh, 6 a.m., goes up and over into the regulator, and then the return comes in back, back into there, and that's the bulkhead fitting. So it sits there, it's nice and pretty. What is that, that fuel? And that's pretty much what I did to the fuel head, man. That's it. Pretty, pretty simple. I mean, all it's got, uh, I know the 20, I think 11 or 15 and up, don't have all of these uh, choices. They got two, I think. They got one that goes across and then one that goes up, and that's it. So this this was definitely a better option for me. Doing the fuel hat for this. I mean, I could have used a newer fuel hat, a fuel sending unit or fuel pump hanger, but this this will do the job. The new pump. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. And then for the exhaust, I'll show you guys what I got so far. Two X pipes. Don't ask me why I did that. I'm sure you guys will get it. Um, so it's just a straight three inch coming back. That that right there is probably what took the longest. Just finding out angles, measurements. So I couldn't. You see how it's facing straight down. I couldn't get it any higher because then it would have a gap at the bottom. The ball and socket joint wouldn't seal. So I came down and. 45 did up kind of and then 45 did back down and then slip joint it comes out to the back still gotta finish it so I was trying to work on getting it running right because of that fuel system pressure um, fuel system problem I was getting but um, there she is like I'm gonna build back this way go over the uh, rear end and then have a course on this side course on that side I got the courses in Thursday I believe oh, man. I got some good old one time use I'm gonna give her a try and then I stumbled upon these you got those vibrant resonators. I'm gonna take those off. But yep, I'll probably end up using the passenger side on the driver's side and the driver's side on the passenger side, just so I can have a straight shot in the middle, closer to the where the spare tire goes. But um, the quad tips, extremes. Yeah, I'm after that tone. So we'll see where we're at with that, and then. I need to remove the hitch and all of the all of that smog and knee vap and a bunch of crap I do not need. Um, I was gonna show you guys. Oh yeah, the, the way it's routed down here on the regulator is. That's the return. That's a filter. I mean, obviously you need a filter for the fuel. It's a 10 micron, I think, or something like that. And that's the feed. Return goes to the back. And then it feeds off. And then you need a vacuum uh, boost reference, I guess they call it. Vacuum reference. So I ran last night and got some vacuum. And she's sitting pretty. And it, I had to tee it. It looks wonky. I don't like it. I need to figure something out. I don't have a port on the manifold or anywhere else for that matter to uh, run that vacuum to. So I cut that, put a T that has different sizes on it. it Would have been nice if this one was good or the one down here, that one. Or this one, you know, something, but they're too big. They're all too big for me to be plugging that small line, so. Jesus. So, I don't know, maybe, no, I'll just leave that alone. I'll figure something out sooner or later. Oh, uh, I got a catch can to use. 
I don't know what version it is, but there she is. And I got the towels back on, wipers on. Still need to put everything back in on the inside. Uh, from the fuse blocks. Mm, don't mind the mess. I need to put all that back together. So the way she's running right now, I don't have... So this wire... Okay, maybe it is. So it's plugged into the inertia switch, but since the body control harness and module and all that's still plugged in, it if I plug in the inertia switch, it gets constant power to the pump, and it's not getting powered from the control pack. I don't know if that's a problem or not, but I mean it hasn't been a problem. I mean because if I wire it to the control pack wire, it'll just. Uh, It'll prime for a second or two and then it'll shut off until I start the vehicle. Well, this thing just stays running. And I, and it was kind of convenient because I was trying to set pressure, fuel, pr fuel pressure on the regulator. And I just turned the key forward and it was pumping without the vehicle in. So I was able to set it to the 55 PSI base. And... Yeah. I, I don't, I'm going to have to look into... I need to do anything else to the regulator once it's like on if I need to adjust it more or not but we'll figure that out so yep that that's where she's at I put all this back together and the clusters wired in I got those lights covered up everything's working fine except uh, yeah just don't plug in that power wire from the OBD2 the brakes are doing good Brakes are a massive, massive upgrade from the original that have a hub and a rotor together, a hub rotor assembly. They suck. They warp very, very easy. These things are uh, awesome. It's a 15 and up knuckle. All of this is from a 15 and up for a two wheel drive because you get two wheel drive knuckle and four wheel drive knuckle. The four wheel drive is an inch taller. And then these are 15 and up calipers. I got the caliper, knuckle, and the hubs. And the hubs came with the speed sensor. I bought them used in a wreck truck for both sides. They look nice and they work beautifully. Um, I think I did put lights. The other ones were really, really cloudy and I put fog lights this morning. I mean, I needed that. That's, that's all she's doing. And that'll get covered up once I put the fender wheel back in. And the headers are changing gold. I like it. I'm digging it. Um, I might have to put an oil cooler, tap in, run, run uh, the feed line or the return line to the block. I'll put that. I'll brought this return to a cooler and then from the cooler back to the block after the filter I need a cooler that thing gets really really hot I touched it when I was doing the fog lights after I'd run it for a little bit that thing gets hot so I'm gonna swap that I'm gonna put in an oil cooler for that just to be safe and I need to get it detailed nice and cleaned <laughs> 